Tonight we have a whole bunch of multi-tools to go over. This will be saw multi-tools against Leatherman, especially the Leatherman Wave and Surge. And several of you have mentioned, why don't you do a video where you compare SOG's multi-tools, size, so forth, against the Leatherman Wave and Surge. So we are. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first multi-tool that we will look at is the SOG Power Access Deluxe. Now when I put the Wave here, you can see that this is a little bit taller than the Wave. So this will come in around that four and a half inch mark, but it will be 8.7 ounces, which is only 0.2 ounces off from the Leatherman Wave. So they are almost identical in weight, although this is a little bit longer. Now the SOG Power Axis Deluxe is, it's a little bit different than the Wave in that it has a quarter inch bit driver here. Of course it has the compound leverage system. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles like rep replaceable drivers and so forth, but it does come with a, a complement of tools. Some would say it's not enough, but it does have several tools. And we have the serrated knife. We have got the normal knife. We have the saw, the file. This is for quarter inch sockets and then you can, there's an adapter. Well, this is actually an adapter for sockets. And then we have the chisel, which is nice, and the awl. And this will be the bottle opener, the Phillips driver, the can opener as well. So it has a nice complement of tools. You will notice that it is missing a pair of scissors. And there are some other things that perhaps people will think it's missing but it is a fairly lightweight tool. It's fairly slim. When we look at the profile, it's a little bit slimmer than the Leatherman Wave. So it is a nice combination of tools. Hopefully it has most, most of the tools that you will be interested if you're interested in the SOG Power Access Deluxe. Now the next tool we will look at tonight. Let's go ahead and just look at this one. So this is more of a competition, I guess you could say, against the Leatherman Surge. The Leatherman Surge is 12.5 ounces. This will come in at 10.7. So Sog has a couple tools that are in that large, more heavy-duty frame. And this is old school. So this will not have the quarter-inch bit driver. This is more like your uh, power lock but it does have a couple fancy things. So we have the compound leverage, and that is always butter smooth. So let's go ahead and look at the old school. This will have the same cover like the power lock, and then there will be tools in here that you will recognize from the power lock and other tools. You'll have the belt cutter. You have the screwdriver, large screwdriver. You have the can opener, Phillips screwdriver, the bottle opener, smaller driver, and the file. And of course you have these large rulers that you cannot miss on the side. So they are very, very large. Now, one of the things that sets this apart is that it is power assist. So you do have the knife blade that is power assist. And then you do have the serrated blade that is power assist. Now I'm right-handed, so it's a little bit harder for me to flick this out on the left-hand side, but there we go. So you have the serrated knife right there that is power assist. So that's pretty nice, nifty. It does cut down on your tool set, but for those of you who want a long knife and you like that sort of fidget factor, that is something that you may appreciate. And I have had many different people mention that the Sog Power Assist is actually one of the best quality tools they have run across in Sog's lineup. So keep that in mind. Now the next Sog that we will look at is the Sog Power Lock. And this is one of the old warriors that's been around for a very long time for Sog. And the Sog Power Lock has these covers because people thought that these sides were too brutal on the hand. And these covers, the problem with them is they have a tendency to fall off. 
and a lot of people just do not like them at all. You can take them off and then they sort of take a, they have a mind of their own and they come off on their own sometimes. Now on here we have, again, we've got some of the same similar tools that you saw in the assist on the power lock. We have the file, we have got the saw, Phillips, we, I think this is, yes, the screwdriver, the awl, the can opener, so all these tools right here. And then on the other side, and you can get different tool sets, and on the other side, you have the knife, you have the driver, and you have the uh, uh, bottle cap lifter. And why these are sort of flipping out like that is because I actually took the scissors out. SOG has scissors and I actually removed the scissors and I believe, I don't think I have, yes, right here is where I actually put those scissors in. I put them in uh, this SOG right here. So normally they come with this pair of scissors, but I remove them and that's why these are sort of not locking because I didn't fix that back up. Now, on the power lock, this is actually my least favorite SOG tool because I've had issues with these locks. Now, this is the side that should lock right here. And let's go ahead and put all the tools back in place. There we go. And I've had issues where I guess I can't right now, but I can actually, on some of these power locks, I can break the lock almost and the lock will fail. So anyway, that has really bothered me in the past. I guess on this one, it, it works better, but on some power locks, just beware. Maybe it's because they're old, but other people have mentioned that as well. So keep that in mind. So this will be the power lock. And this comes in at 9.6 ounces, actually. So that is the weight of that one. And then the power access assist can, comes in at 10.7 ounces. So let's go through the weights once more. I might have mixed those up a little bit. So the power assist is 10.7. The power access assist, so these are the same size and weight, or is 10.7. The power lock will be 9.6, and then the power access deluxe is 8.7. So this is more like the wave. The rest of these are in the surge 300 range, and all these are fairly large multi-tools, and they'll be in the 4.5 inch frame, essentially. The power lock technically is the largest at 4.6, so this is technically the largest, and right here we have the surge, and then you can tell that the power lock, well, it's just about the same size. But anyway, so when it comes in frame size, let's go ahead and collapse this. So you can tell that the frame size is a little bit larger than the surge, but once you open up the surge, they're basically identical in size. All right, so we've got one left. We have the Power Access Assist, and this is one of my favorite multi-tools. Now, with any multi, as with any multi-tool, there will be one or two uh, lemons in it, but as far as the one that I have found, this one that I've used, I've really been happy with it. It comes with a quarter-inch bit driver. This comes with assist technology, so you have, and then it has these locks, almost like the Leatherman uh, Free Series. So you have the serrated blade, and then let's see, this side is the saw, and then on this side, let's close this up and try that again. On this side is the knife, and then on this side is the belt cutter. So all those are tools that come out. And then inside you have got the micro driver, you have the bottle, a cap lifter, you've got the Phillips screwdriver, and you have the can opener. And then on this side, you have the awl, you have the chisel, and then you have that quarter inch driver, well, socket adapter. 
as well. And then obviously you can use these for quarter inch bits as well. So all these SOG multi-tools are on the large side. So they all of them are larger than the Wave and close to the Leatherman Surge in length. And then all of them are fairly close in size. The heaviest is 10.7. It's still going to, it still will be lighter than the Surge, but it is a fairly large tool. So we'll go ahead and just for reference again, put these right here. And then I will put the Leatherman Surge on top, like so, and the Wave like so. So let's see if we can stand these up sort of you can sort of see these are all very large SOG multi-tools and sometimes I think that gets lost in the comparison and people think that only Leatherman or Gerber have large tools but SOG does as well. Now personally for my for my recommendation I think these two are probably the best. This one from personal experience and this just from people's reviews. I actually haven't used this one much. Uh, I guess my favorite ones probably would be these two. I really like the quarter inch bit driver and I like the tool sets, uh, especially of this one as well. Well, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.